All right, how's it going there, ladies and gentlemen? So, yeah, I thought I'd make a video here, okay, about a story that stands, stood out. And I made probably an access of probably like four other videos about this man. Okay, you guys may have heard of it. Her name is Elizabeth Poblano, okay? And she lives somewhere around the New York area, New York City, that is. Okay? So, this is like a late evening video or late night video, okay? Uh, no matter, uh, depending on where you are, and a cautionary tale. But this young lady, college graduate, all right, appeared to be a uh, nice lady, innocent. Like I say, appeared to where until this incident happened, and she was arrested in Dubai for uh, or accused of putting her hands on a man. Now. Looking at a few videos, okay, from other people and also like the local news out there in uh, New York and uh, CBS News that Mrs. Poblano was being screened, okay, for things in the Dubai airport and something about an electric bracelet, uh, bracelet uh, that she had to take off, all right, and according to reports that... The, well, she claims that the female screeners was getting rough for her, okay, but for whatever reason, okay, the police is saying for being that she didn't cooperate, okay, then the female screen, uh, screeners had to act with force to restrain her. And in the midst of that, then she put her hands on another security guard, a male security guard, for help to get those female screeners off her and that's when she got arrested all right uh she claims she just grazed a man all right but i think that there was more to that story than what she was saying okay and i'm gonna tell you why i lived out in the middle east for about five six years yeah, you know, I was deployed out there and so forth. Uh, most of that time in the military. Now, I did work as a contractor for about three or four years. Uh, a little bit about, uh, about my tenure out in the military. Uh, I was de uh, deployed in Saudi Arabia for like three months. Egypt for a year. A station out there for a year, that is. I've been to Iraq twice, a nine and 11 month tour. And I worked over there as a contractor in Iraq and Afghanistan for about three and a half years. And I stopped through the Dubai a lot of times because you have to really have to stop through there during that time, what, like 10, 15 years ago to catch your flight to fly over here to America where I stayed, okay? And those people won't mess with you unless you mess with them. Now, I will say this. Being that those middle, uh, those eastern, far eastern uh, countries, China, Russia, but particularly like the Middle East, okay, that they made a, a hard stance against crime and disorderly conduct, and they do that for a reason, okay, and it is under a patriarchal structure. Although I believe that some of those provisions are starting to let down, uh, be let down just a little bit, but it's you know. Basically, you know, the man rules. And I hate to have, I don't want to try to sound like no bigot or anything. All right. But it's just under a pat, uh, patriarchal structure. Things that you do over here in the Western hemisphere or the Western world, you can go to jail for it. Okay. You can get, you can end up being executed. Okay. Do hard time for a lot of the things that they do here in America. All right. That a lot of women do. In, the, in these Western countries because they are so empowered and many women are not held to the same standard as they are in the Middle East. And again, it is what it is. All right. Nothing to try to insult anybody, but you know, I've traveled. I spent enough time all over there to where I know what I was talking about. Okay. You can't do the things in America, people. All right. People, women, or like in England or those countries like you can do over there. You can't go over there wilding out, okay? You have to go over there and show uh, orderly conduct 
okay, and be kind and treat people with respect the same way that you want to be, you know, treated, so forth, okay? So, and there's a time to do everything. Now, don't get me wrong, Dubai is a very nice place. They got very top-of-the-line hotels, beaches, restaurants, malls, and that type of stuff. You got to have some money to come over there. You got to have some money to get there, okay? But it is very strict. For me, it's too strict for me. I just came and did what I had to do. Maybe I may have left the hotel room and walked around, I don't know, the block, maybe got something to eat, maybe stopped over there in the mall or something like that and took my happy ass back to the, uh, to the room because I wanted to hurry up and fly out so I can get back here to you know, for me, uh, to me and my family at the time. All right. But, uh, you know, if they got it to where, if anybody got out, get out of line, you're going to get dealt with. And one thing I didn't know is, yeah, they got police and all that stuff, but they got cameras everywhere. So they really don't have to go after you. If they feel as though you're suspicious, you know, they can call you in, they can take a look at that camera footage. Okay. And they can charge you right then. That's how the, uh, the judicial system can get you. And from what I understand, that uh, political and judicial system is top notch. Everything over there is top notch. Okay. And they do what they have to do to try to maintain, like I say, order uh, over there. Okay. So they really don't care about American wealth. Yeah, they they'll welcome it, but. That country is already rich with the oil and with the tourism and so forth, okay? That they will kick you out of their country. They don't need your money, all right? So they have their own economy, their own, you know, be it if it's oil or tourism, they have their own everything, okay? No, they're not having it. Um, so I hope that this is a lesson learned. It's from my understanding that the U.S. Embassy is in touch with their embassy and the girl's going to be going home. Okay. But I just think that, again, this is an, uh, another example. All right. To where, you know, if you're not kind, if you don't really respect other people's cultures or mores and so forth, if you can't do that, not only good that it shows that you don't have like personal restraints, but you know what, you don't need to be there. And no, particularly in those countries like that. OK, like I say, they don't care their dollar or their uh, dinero uh, was that dinero is three to four times stronger than our dollar. OK, those kings over there and those a lot of those different, I don't know, Enoch's or those uh, the government officials, billionaires, they can wipe their ass with a hundred dollar bill. OK, they got so much money over there at those countries, countries like Kuwait, uh, Dubai. Saudi Arabia, okay, that they, and I said this before, they let their blue collar people, uh, their blue collar people are people that come from like Bangladesh, India, and so forth, all right? The interstates are clean, you don't see nothing but BMWs and Mercedes there, okay, on those interstates, all right? But let this, again, I'm glad the girl is going back, uh, going back home with her family, maybe she'll have a story or two to tell, okay, and so forth. All right. Uh, so uh, other Americans won't make the same mistake. OK, anybody can get it over there. Anybody. All right. Let me know what you think about the video. I'm going to get back to work here. Like, subscribe, share. Check out some of the other videos.